At present, articles on the internet about the sixth-generation fighter aircraft first flown by Abbott Group's Chengfei Company, which is known as the J-36 fighter, can be said to be like a river of Kruchin carp. The key to this plane, which has no vertical tail, is that it carries three engines. The engine on the back of the fuselage is considered to be a variable cycle engine. The other two engines are turbofan engines of an unknown type. Three aviation engines were set on the military aircraft, which was the first time in the history of global military aircraft development and equipment development, triggering a sensational effect, and the J-36 naturally became the object of external focus and report. Relatively speaking, the so-called J-36 is still hot, and Shenfei Company of Abbott Group has also completed its first flight. Recently, there has been a sixth-generation fighter aircraft with two-engine formation flight test, which also adopts a non-vertical tail component and uses two turbofan engines of unknown type, and it is called J-50 by the outsiders. The J-50 is known as the J-50. The J-50 looks much smaller than the J-36 and is not as popular on the internet as the larger J-36 developed by Chengfei, which is speculated to be a fighter bomber and is called the J Bomber 36, according to Chinese naming rules. J 36. In fact, the J 50 has been photographed flying in double formation, which shows that its development progress is very fast. In addition, the J 50 has been photographed at close range over the downtown area of a city in the north, flying at a low altitude with its front and rear landing gears down, presumably preparing to land at an airport on the outskirts of the city. From the J 50 front wheels are dual tires. The back two are single-wheel landing gear, but the size is unusually large to study. This is more typical of the characteristics of shipborne fighters, which inevitably let many Chinese netizens think about. Previously, Chengfei Company research of the fifth generation of stealth fighter J-20. The body size is much larger than the Shenfei Company. Developed the fifth generation of stealth fighter J-35, J-20 is a land-based fighter, while J-35 is a sea-based fighter. Now, the Avid Group, the two main developers of military aircraft, have come up with prototypes of sixth-generation fighters. Chinese netizens have reason to believe that the larger size J-36 is most likely the sixth-generation land-based fighter offered for use by the Chinese Air Force. J-50, Xin Fei Company developed a relatively small size of this military aircraft. Its maximum takeoff weight will not be less than the Xin Fei Company developed J-15 shipborne fighter of 32.5 tons. The probability will be provided to the Chinese Navy operations of the sixth generation of shipborne fighters. According to senior netizens, the J-50 adopts a unique Lambda wing. The rear swept angle of the trailing edge and leading edge of its wing can be made to remain consistent. It can effectively reduce the radar reflection cross-sectional area and compared with the fifth generation fighters with trapezoidal or delta wings. The J-50 has a lower CS value and its stealth performance is even better than that of the fifth-generation fighters. J-50, the existence of the belly groove. Some netizens say that the belly groove structure may be concentrated to a specific direction of the radar wave reflection, especially from the lower elevation angle exposure. This concentration effect may lead to a significant increase in the radar echo signal strength, meaning that it will affect the stealth performance of the J-50. The objective existence of Cleavage of the airframe can be clearly shown in the screenshots of the J-50 flight test video. Perhaps it will have a certain impact on the J-50's stealth ability, but it does not affect the J-50's overall excellent stealth performance. The stealth performance of a sixth-generation aircraft is much stronger than that of a fifth-generation aircraft, and this should not be any problem. In short, J-50 adopts unique stealth design elements, sharp corners, smooth surfaces and stealth antenna layout. Even if there is a cleavage, as netizens jokingly call it, it is guessed that it can also make radar detection become more complicated, and the operator cannot easily capture its signals, or maybe it is missed as other stray waves. The J-50, with its heat-insulated engine nozzle design, helps reduce the infrared signature of the airframe, making it difficult for enemy infrared sensors to lock onto it completely as well. The airframe's large optoelectronic sensors, which enable 360 degrees situational awareness, coupled with the advanced digitized active phase array radar, are critical for the J-50 to execute the complexities of modern air warfare. With good airframe stealth, advanced sensing systems, high-performance airborne weapon systems, high mobility and flexible maneuverability, 
There is no doubt that the J-50 is a high-tech fighter that forms a powerful strategic deterrent to potential adversaries. The J-50's flight to the sky will strengthen China's defense advantage and greatly enhance the international influence of the Chinese military. The shock to the Western military community is quite large, letting them understand that in the field of development and equipment of the sixth-generation fighter aircraft, China is already far ahead of the world.